Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a self-hosted desktop as a service solution with Chasm workspaces in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. We'll start by using apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to install Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key in apt repository. Followed by another apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Container D. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled, add the current user to the Docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. Now that we have Docker installed and configured, we're ready to run containers. There's two methods to running Chasm workspaces. The recommended method pulls in all the different Chasm images and uses about 50 gigabytes of storage space. The second method installs just the Chasm Workspace's core components and allows you to selectively install additional images, resulting in far less disk space usage. I prefer the second method, so I'll we'll outline that here. We'll change the directory to the temp directory, then download the latest release of Chasm Workspaces and extract the downloaded archive. And finally, we'll call the install.sh file. Type Y and press enter to agree to the license agreement. The installation can take several minutes as it has to pull down and start in multiple containers. Once the installation completes, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 8443. Log in with the username admin at chasm.local and the password that was output from the installation script. Click the AD avatar at the top right of the screen, then edit profile. Click reset password, then paste the temporary password from your clipboard and enter and confirm a new password. Once completed, submit the form, then log back in with the username admin at chasm.local and the new password. With only the Chasm core containers running, we'll see we don't have any workspaces to select. To add additional workspace images, go to the admin interface and select images from the left navigation. Click the add image button, then complete the form for each workspace image you'd like to add. In this example, I'll be adding the Brave browser workspace. You can search on Docker Hub for Chasm Web to find all the different workspaces that can be run. Once you've completed the form, click Submit at the bottom of the page. Wait as the requested image is pulled and the new container is stood up. Then select Workspaces and the new image should show. Click the workspace you'd like to launch, then click Launch Session. One additional cool feature of Chasm Workspaces is the ability to have persistent profiles. I have that enabled for my Brave Browser session. As such, any settings changes I make or tabs that I leave open will be retained when I return to my session later on. To demonstrate this, I'll set my Brave Browser to Dark Mode and leave a tab running when I close out of the workspace. Without having persistent profiles enabled, I'd lose these settings the next time I come back to the workspace. I get a pop-up here letting me know the profile is already in use, but select the option to unlock profile and relaunch, and everything works as expected. Notice, the browser is still in dark mode, and the tab I left open is still here. 